looking rather Teutonic in design and execution. With the introduction of the K1, BMW's image is about to change. It's claimed to be the world's most aerodynamic motorcycle. The fairings are designed to be... The Boxer engine, BMW, has been with us since 1923 and has often been accused of being rather Teutonic in design and execution. With the introduction of the K1, BMW's image is about to change. It's claimed to be the world's most aerodynamic motorcycle. The fairings are designed to produce a turbulence-free airflow and a low drag coefficient. This new machine is a complete departure from the traditional touring bikes. The K1 is a development of the K-series introduced in 1983 and makes no pretense to be a tourer. It is an 8 and 8 sports machine. The 16-valve electronically managed engine produces 100 bhp and can take you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds. And there's no need to run out of fuel mid-flight or peer into the tank to see how much unleaded there is left. And here's another nice touch. 
On BMW machines, the handlebar position has been criticised. But on the K1 model, the handlebar position is absolutely perfect for the riding position. Now, oh, see how it feels on the road. The riding position on this sports orientated machine is very comfortable indeed. This is like a very nice gear change, I think probably the best from BMW yet. The front forks are certainly on the stiff side compared to most BMWs. All BMWs I've ridden in the past have had the forks very, very soft, but I feel they've really got it right. I'm a little surprised that the ABS brakes haven't been fitted to this machine as standard. I'm sure that like anti-lock brakes would go a long way to convincing the buyer that this is the way to go for the future.